Hi, my name is Commander Pausanias and hopefully today I want to show you some of the uses of Dash um, within VR for the Oculus Rift. Um, I'm doing a lot of exploration at the moment so it's very useful for me to have um, EDSM um, open within the VR environment. Um, so hopefully I'm going to show you how to, how to have that in a nice position um, so that it's of maximum use to you. Now the first thing to do is I've got the right hand controller in my hand at the moment and I've got my thumb over the uh, flat um, menu button so I'm going to press that twice sometimes to get it to work in. Right, this black line that's running down here you really want to be facing that irrelevant of where any of this is, just face it. Click on the virtual desktop. This is my desktop as I look at it now. That's my, that's all, all uh, Elite Open and all the other stuff that I use, Voice Attack, and this is my browser here. Now, what I can do is if I pull this down to this position, and I'm moving the, the thumb movements backwards and forwards to move that about. Left and right will alter the size of it. So you can see I've got one times there. Position it so that you've got about one meter away and place it so that the top edge of the desktop is running virtually along that straight line that you can see across there and pin it. Now, click your menu button to go back into Elite Dangerous. Now you can see I'm out of center. If you look at my feet, one's sticking out further than the other. So, just going to move my mouse, which I can see on my desktop now, whizzing around. Just focus on Elite, press my reset button and get that so that my toes are equidistant showing there. I've got my shoulder and my shoulder there. So I'm now nicely positioned in the cockpit looking straight forward. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into Dash. I don't want all of that at my feet because it breaks the immersion of uh, VR. I really just want EDSM here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpin that because I don't want it in the VR anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this page and place it in the VR environment. Now to do that you literally do a grabbing uh, action with your hand but also pressing the A button down at the same time and also the trigger button that is is under your, your three fingers. So I grab the whole thing like that and I've kept, kept everything positioned on the hand is gripping it. Now let go of the A button and using the joystick toggle you can now move that screen away from you towards you, left or left and right increases and reduces its size. Now what I'll do is I like it over here, I bring it in close but fairly small. Somewhere around this sort of position, that's your centre line remember, that was my joystick, that's the centre line. So somewhere around here is just above your right arm, so I'll let go of it in that position and pin it. Look straight forward, that's fairly important, otherwise you'll finish up with it spinning around you. And press your menu button again. This has now placed that window in the virtual experience. Now, it's obviously obscuring that window for me, but doing what I'm doing, that doesn't matter. And even if it did, I can just look around it because we're in VR. Now, the other advantage of this is I've still got my mouse showing. Um, now, if I click on um, to EDSM, I'm in my browser here, so I can go on to Minara if I want to, or back to EDSM. Now, the only drawback on this is that I've now moved the focus from Elite to my browser, so nothing's working in my ship. Um, I use voice attack, so all I need to do to correct that is the following. Focus Elite Norman. Affirmative. Right, I've now got Elite's now focused again, so I can carry on as normal. 
Now you can do this with any of the panes that are on your desktop, virtually any of them anyway, drag them, place them wherever you want, pin them, um, and then have them within your environment. You can even have them um, behind you if you want to. Um, so that's just, that would have to come up now, wouldn't it? While I'm doing a video, right? I think I'm about finished anyway. So uh, I hope that's been useful and I'll catch everybody again on the next video. Um, thanks. Bye.